So talking about HTML structure, we looked at the DOM, parent-child relationship, but why is it all so important? Well, let's look at some real examples. Let's go to gq.com. You might start to recognize some of these elements. Here's probably some header tag. Uh, this might be a P tag. Uh, here's an image. But how do these elements just know how to sit? Or as we call it, how to be rendered? Why is the image on the left and not at the top? If you take this whole block of content and consider it to be an individual piece, it's probably a div container with several other elements inside it. Well, here's where we talk about the relationship between elements. If I add two P tags to my HTML, what do you think is gonna happen? How do you think they're gonna sit? How do you think they're gonna be rendered? Well, they sit on top of each other. What if they were A tags, links? Now they sit side by side. But why is that? Well, the reason for that is something that all elements have. It's called the display type. And it's different for a P as opposed to an A. Paragraphs are what we call block level elements. That means they take up the entire row. They go all the way to the right, regardless of how much text is in there. A tag, on the other hand, doesn't. They take as much horizontal space as they need. Depending on how much text is in there, they just stop where the text ends. That's called an inline element, which to me sounds like uh, they're within the line where they belong, so they, they stop. Another example, divs and spans. These are both used as containers for other elements. They don't necessarily render anything themselves. They help with grouping things together. Here are two divs and here are two spans. So the type of element you choose makes a massive difference in how they get rendered. So now let's go back to GQ and look at some of those groups together again. What do you think these elements are? What about these side panels? Do they look like they're groups? I mean, to me, they look like they're groups. This is another group. What if we could actually cheat and, and see how they were built? Well, we actually can, and you already know how. Just right click on any element you're interested to see how it's built and click on inspect element. This window will show you every element on this page. You can use this in Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and I think they're all pretty much the same. If you're using IE, I got nothing for you. Just change your browser, please. <laughs> and you can do this to any website in the world. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's, a, it's really a great learning tool and just to, to poke around some of your favorite sites and, and, um, and see how they're built. Sometimes it's crazy what you find in there. Sometimes they're, they're really confusing. Sometimes when you, when you recognize something that you know, like for example, a piece of HTML that you've, you've used before, like a P tag or something, kind of feels cool. And that's it, there's no mystery to it. Uh, so spend some time, look around on uh, some of the websites that you like, maybe, maybe Facebook or, Facebook's actually really complicated because it has a lot of little elements like the like button and all those things. Uh, but take a look and, and see how they're structured. You'll, you'll pretty soon start to notice uh, patterns that, that you're already familiar with. So to recap, there are block elements that take up the whole row. There are inline elements that take as much space as they need. Here are two crazy things I'll add to that. Number one, uh, these are the most important display behaviors, block and inline, but there are other kinds as well, and we will cover them soon. Number two, you can change the display type of an element using CSS, so a P can actually become inline, and a link can become a block. Are you confused? Great. <laughs> That means you're getting into real HTML. It will make more sense the more you do it. So go ahead, experiment. Uh, I've shown you enough types of elements and the next couple of videos will actually make a, a meaningful page together, okay?